Now, if you are a French player, then the trap I'm about to show you against the King's Indian attack, you must know, as recently, lot of good players has fallen for it. After e4 and e6, King's Indian attack start with the move d3, and after our d5, White can follow the main line for a while. Knight to d2, knight to f6, and now knight g to f3, whereupon we deliver the surprise package. As you can see from the database here, the move which I am going to recommend, namely bishop to c5, is not there in the top choice. And I think this is where which sets up the platform for our upcoming trap as a lot of white players caught off guard as they simply think that okay black is not threatening knight g4 as we can always respond with d4 so by far if you look at the database g3 which happens in more than 2800 games on leeches and as per the fide there are more than 40 games goes into this direction where I'm afraid white has straight away fallen into our trappy territory. The trappy business start with this very obvious sequence. D captures e4. White has two choices. If he continue with knight captures e4, then this is the easiest one. We first capture on e4 and after pawn takes, yup, you got it. Bishop captures f2, king takes f2. So at first sight, it looks like black is winning the whole queen. But nope, white can regain the queen back by giving this check. And obvious enough, we are going to retrieve back the queen. So that after bishop takes d7 and bishop captures d7, when the dust is clear, you can clearly see that black emerge with a clear pawn advantage. Well, if you check out here, by far the most popular choice is d captures e4, which looks more natural in this position, but I'm afraid. This leads to a completely lost position after black's obvious response, knight to g4. <laughs> and suddenly white realized that f2 is hanging and there is no way in the world he can defend it. Now if we consider the top three choices here, amazingly enough, two of them losing the white queen and one loses the piece. Let's check out how we can achieve it. The first move I want to consider is queen to e2, highestly played but a big time mistake as black has this very simple sequence which naps the white queen. Bishop captures f2, king to d1 and now this knight jack where king doesn't have any route to escape so by force queen has to take this knight and obviously at the end black get queen against the knight which is a huge plus okay let's check out what about other options and instead of queen to e2 the second most popular choice is bishop to b5 check whereupon we can play a simple move c6 and the best white can do over here is to forget about that bishop and castle on the king side whereupon black simply gobble up the piece just within the eighth move of the game well last but not least what happened if your opponent continue with bishop to g2 which is the third popular choice and against this more or less we have the same story bishop captures f2 if king to f1 then we have knight fork on e3 so the natural response is king to e2 but after that 
once again this amazing knight move <laughs> and funny enough queen has three locations but neither of them can save her the best white can do over here is capture this bishop but after knight takes queen rook takes knight once again the dust is clear and the end result is black obtain queen for two minor pieces which is again a huge advantage to the black camp that's it guys i hope you enjoy and learn this high profile trap in the french against the king's indian attack remember if your opponent continue with g3 at this point then don't forget to punish him with d captures e4 and it doesn't matter however white recapture black's early advantageous domination cannot be denied thank you for watching this video feel free to like subscribe and comment and i will meet you in my next episode very soon bye and take care